Negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, and overthinking often dominate our lives, causing stress, worry about the future, and regret about the past. These mental patterns make it challenging to live the life we aspire to. Fortunately, there are simple techniques to break free from this cycle, although they may be initially uncomfortable. Always remind yourself of the reasons behind these efforts. Without further delay, here are a couple of ways to instantly halt negative thought patterns and regain control of your life. Firstly, directing awareness to your hands. The moment you catch yourself entangled in negative thoughts, take a deep breath and shift your focus to your hands. You can try this out right now. As you look at your hands, connect with the energy within them. No need to overthink, just let yourself feel the sensations. While negative thoughts might linger for a few seconds, the key is not to forcefully stop them. Instead, redirect your focus to your hands. As you immerse yourself in the sensations of your hands, those thoughts will naturally fade away. The goal isn't to engage with or try to eliminate every thought. It's about centering your awareness on the energy in your hands. During this process, you might notice a pulsing or vibrating sensation. Whatever you feel is perfectly fine. It might start subtly, but as you persist in maintaining your awareness on your hands, the sensations will intensify. When your complete attention is on your hands, thoughts lose their grip because you aren't giving them the attention they crave. It's crucial to understand that maintaining constant thoughts about your life isn't necessary for keeping things together. In fact, such a way of living is often the source of our suffering. Secondly, express, don't analyze. When your mind starts conjuring up stories or scenarios, catch it early and vocalize or think to yourself, don't evaluate. This simple act can instantly halt the ongoing thoughts. Remember, you're the one in control now. While the mind tends to find problems and propose solutions, it's a cycle that often leads to more issues. Break free from this trap by refusing to engage with these evaluations. Regardless of how persistent those thoughts may be, consistently assert, don't evaluate. Initially, they might not heed your command, but with a bit of training, they'll start to fall in line, much like teaching a dog or guiding a child. Thirdly, anticipate your next thought. Explore the practice of waiting for your next thought. Imagine we're in a conversation, and I hint that I'm about to share something crucial, but then stay silent. In that moment, you're left anticipating the continuation with your thoughts. Now try this exercise. Deliberately wait to see what thought pops into your mind. Interestingly, it's impossible to predict your next thought accurately. Even if you consciously try to generate a specific thought, it's just one possibility among countless others. Embrace genuine curiosity about what your next thought will be and observe as a moment of stillness and thoughtlessness unfolds. Fourthly, embrace meditation. Many believe that meditation is about banishing thoughts, but that's not the essence of meditation, it's not a task. Instead, it's about being present. In meditation, you don't strive to accomplish anything. You simply become aware of the present moment. The key is accepting whatever exists in the present moment. Through consistent practice, you'll come to realize that you are separate from your thoughts. This awareness empowers you to selectively embrace the thoughts you choose to believe. While negative thoughts may persist, by neglecting them, you allow them to naturally fade away over time. Fifthly, laugh at your thoughts. Consider this. You are not your thoughts. Rather, you're the one observing them. When a thought appears, we often automatically accept it instead of just observing and deciding if we want to believe it or not. If there's a thought you'd rather not buy into, try this, laugh at it. It might sound simple, but laughing at a thought can drain it of the power it once held over you. It's like chuckling at someone saying something about you when they don't really know who you are. Ah. Remember, your thoughts don't truly know your full potential. Laughing at them helps you recognize your capabilities, breaking free from the constraints your thoughts may impose. Sixthly, stay aware in your body. Let's explore a different way of living, not just in our heads, but in our bodies. Often we're consumed by our thoughts 24-7, but there's a more intelligent way to exist, and that's by living from the body. The body is significantly smarter than the mind. Initially, this shift might feel uncomfortable because many of us haven't been connected with our bodies for years. Brace yourself for those challenging moments, but trust the process. The next time negative thoughts or overthinking creeps in, 
redirect your awareness into your body and remain there, no matter what. As with any practice, the more you engage in these techniques, the stronger they become. It's like building a muscle. Give these a try and discover what works best for you. These practices have profoundly changed my life, and I believe they can do the same for others. Thank you for exploring these powerful techniques to break free from negative thoughts and reclaim control of your life. If you found these strategies helpful and want more insights on mastering your mind, consider subscribing to our channel. Join our community on the journey to a more positive and empowered mindset. Until next time, stay mindful, stay positive, stay blissful, and remember, you have the power to shape your thoughts and your life. Much love.